take a look at some of these rainfall totals. It hasn't been a ton of rain, but we'll take what we can get anywhere between about a quarter of an inch of rain around Willimantic to about a half an inch of rain for Danbury. And so this isn't a drought busting rainfall, not by a long shot, but again, at least it helped prevent you from probably having to water your lawn or your garden. Right now you can see where the warm front is located. Temperatures in southwestern Connecticut. You can see Danbury, Bridgeport dealing with temperatures that are in the mid to upper 70s. Meanwhile, if you look in northeastern Connecticut, it's an entirely different story. Putnam at 67 degrees and right around the 70 degree mark for Willimantic. So it just depends on where you live. That warm front will eventually lift north to include everybody heading through the day tomorrow. What that means is, again, everybody deals with the humidity tomorrow and some warmer temperatures and dry conditions. So if you are a summer lover, you you've certainly had a great summer. Okay, you've had a good run we'll put it there, but you're also going to really enjoy tomorrow as well. You'll have those warmer temperatures in place for Thursday, part of Friday before falling humidity, falling temperatures lead us into this weekend and we're back to another taste of early fall. Satellite and radar showing there's just a few leftover sprinkles or areas of mist that are out there. Certainly not seeing the steadier rainfall that we had from earlier today. Hebron still seeing a couple showers out there and if we pivot up to the north, you'll see Manchester, Hartford still dealing with a couple of lighter showers. Bloomfield and Simsbury are included in that as well. And there'll kind of be a little bit of a break in the action generally until after midnight tonight, another little disturbance will swing through. That could bring a heavier downpour or even a thunderstorm in spots overnight while we sleep. Low temperatures in the mid 60s to right around 70 degrees. Eventually the winds will go calm and heading into the day tomorrow, it's partly cloudy, warm and humid with high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Tomorrow night though, there is a a chance for some showers or a thunderstorm as a cold front comes through and that will act to kind of drop the humidity heading into Friday in this upcoming weekend. So Saturday morning, first thing, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., there might be a lingering shower, especially in eastern Connecticut, but the rest of the day it looks dry. Here we are at 430. 87, 88 degrees, certainly possible for the Hartford area, around the 80 degree mark for the Connecticut shoreline for the New Haven area. And then watch what happens after about eight o'clock in the evening. We'll bring in some showers. So again, we may start the day off damp and we may finish the day damp on Thursday, but in between most of the time is dry warm and humid out there. And again, we could have a few thunderstorms roll through with some locally heavy downpours and then we dry out in time for Friday with falling humidity, especially as we head through the afternoon and high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. We're also closely watching the tropics. This is tropical storm Nana, which could bring near hurricane force conditions to Belize over the next 24 hours, making landfall as a tropical storm and tropical storm Omar, which is my favorite storm of the season because it's not bothering anybody. It's out in the middle of the Atlantic. It is off the East Coast, but it's not bothering anyone. Here's your seven day forecast. Look at this upcoming weekend. Sunny skies Saturday, Sunday and Monday for Labor Day with high temperatures in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. Guys, it doesn't get much better than this.